Welcome to the new stuff training for feature 127171, the new multi-cluster virtual switch. Before we get into this new feature, let's review our virtual switch capabilities for AHV up to this point. Prior to this release, distributed virtual switches were only supported on Prism Element clusters. This meant that even if two clusters share their uplinks in the same Layer 2 broadcast network, users had to configure and manage the virtual switches individually on both clusters, even when they were connected to the same Prism Central. This led to additional workflows for administrators and could even cause potential conflicts with IP address allocations if the network deployment was not carefully thought out and implemented. When an administrator would create a VM, they would need to specify which cluster the VM would live on, making balancing workloads across clusters a more manual process that required attention. With this release, the new multi-cluster virtual switch functionality for AHV is available in Prism Central. This multi-cluster virtual switch simplifies network creation across multiple clusters. It helps provide a more seamless approach to distributing VMs across clusters and even reduces the potential for IP conflicts by managing the subnet across all clusters. Prism Central managed clusters that share the same network attributes for the uplinks on their nodes can be configured into one Prism Central multi-cluster virtual switch. The multi-cluster virtual switch can then be used to create network controller-based VLAN subnets, which will span all the member clusters of the virtual switch. This benefits multiple use cases that we'll cover next. With Nutanix Flow Virtual Networking, we're not just talking about extending a subnet. We've advanced to a point where we can stretch an entire VPC across several clusters within a single availability zone. With the new multi-cluster virtual switch, we can do the same for the VPC external networks. Now, the VPC external subnet, which is used for communication to and from a VPC, can actually span multiple clusters when the network is deployed using this multi-cluster virtual switch. This also adds an additional layer of redundancy for deploying VPC external network gateways. In the past, these gateways would be hosted on one cluster, usually across multiple hosts within the cluster, but still just one cluster. All traffic into or out of the VPC would go through that cluster. Now, we can place these gateways, up to four of them, on different clusters that are managed by the same Prism Central instance ultimately enhancing our operational flexibility and resiliency for VPC deployments. To take this a step further, you can then deploy your VPC BGP gateways on different clusters, ensuring network reachability even in the case of a cluster failure. With the multi-cluster virtual switch, network creation and VM mobility just got better. In the past, network creation would need to be done per cluster. Now it can be done across all clusters in the availability zone at the same time. This will help eliminate the potential for IP address conflicts because this now gives us a single unified IPAM deployment for the network. With the network spanning multiple clusters, this makes VM placement and automatic cluster selection that much better, allowing VMs on different clusters to all attach to the same network, facilitating seamless mobility between clusters while being transparent to the end user and requiring no additional configuration at the physical layer. Creating a multi-cluster virtual switch and assigning subnets to it is pretty easy. Navigate to the virtual switch section within the network and security area of Prism Central. You'll first name the switch and set the MTU value. Then choose the bond type for the interfaces. From there, you select the clusters and their uplink ports that will be used by the switch. Now that's, that's pretty easy. Once the switch has been created, you can then assign your subnets to the new switch. Follow the link for a demo of creating a multi-cluster virtual switch.
The multi-cluster virtual switch requires version 7.3 for AOS and Prism Central, along with network controller version 6.0.0. This feature is included with Starter Pro and Ultimate licensing and is supported on all hardware platforms running the AHV hypervisor. Thanks for watching this session on the new multi-cluster virtual switch.